We have arrived here to Kissimmee Lakefront Park. Just came over here close to the lake. Look at how beautiful this is. There's like a little lighthouse right there. So peaceful, like a little pier. And then you could actually walk to the lighthouse, which we're gonna do that in just a little bit. This is beautiful. I don't know how big it is, how, how far it goes, how big the park is, but we're gonna walk, especially over there to the lighthouse. Um, go over here a little bit closer to the to the water. If for some reason you guys are from here from Florida and guys haven't visited Kissimmee Lakefront Park Definitely check it out, especially if you just want to take a walk or something. Here's a little history Kissimmee Lakefront Park Hamilton distant revolutionizes Kissimmee Because that's Hamilton After the Civil War Hamilton distant purchased 4 million acres of marshland in Florida make him the largest single landowner in the United States Included in his purchase was a small trading post up Allendale located on Lake Tohopecaligas. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm guessing that's Lake Tohopecaligas. This outpost had grown by hundreds to become the existing city of Kesemir. It's a little windy right now and I think there's gonna be some rain later on tonight like at 10 o'clock right now it's probably the perfect time it's about to be yeah, 6 43 about to be 6 45 I think it was the perfect time to come over here and see we missed the sunset but we still could see the beautiful colors of the sky you know and with the water and everything it is beautiful I saw this statue right here and I go check this out man it's sad guys this is the last day basically that we have tomorrow Saturday we head back home and back to cold <laughs> but we definitely fell in love with Florida guys not surprised that we end up moving here in a, in a year or two honor those who died that you might stand here free to stay got here there's some so a soldier and probably like a civilians helping them out there's a baton Corrigider Memorial, a tribute to courage, dedicated on May 20, 1995. I love these trees, like this, I don't know what they're called, but the things that are hanging from the trees. I see a lot of them here in Florida. So this is about 30 minutes later because we actually met a amazing couple, Eric and Key, and we were just talking to them. They prayed for us. Um, it was just a great connection. Really like, and, and uh, we just started talking about everything and moving, even a possibility of, of us moving. And then, uh, man, it's, it's just a perfect last night here in Orlando, Florida, or Florida in general. We're just taking a last walk here before we head over to dinner to Forge Garage, but we're on this like little relaxing path up to the lighthouse that they have here, little lighthouse. That's my, that's my wife dancing with joy it's a beautiful place a beautiful state florida fell in love with it end of the little pathway they have some benches where you could just sit down oh i've already done that <laughs> sorry sitting relaxing and enjoying the view and they got about four benches here and here's the end of it but the water oh my goodness how gorgeous is that oh. I feel like I've been here before but I haven't been here before it's like a feeling of something you dreamed it <laughs> you dreamed it you think like so? maybe in a dream like especially this part mm. there's like a wedding going on over there They're jamming out right now this would be a beautiful spot for a wedding though, for sure, in front of the water. So our time here at Kissimmee Lakefront Park is coming to an end. We're gonna get in the car and head over to Florida's Garage for some dinner. Beautiful park. As I said before, if you guys live in Florida or even if you're visiting here to Florida like we are, uh, visit Kissimmee Lakefront Park. It is beautiful, especially at night. It's just gorgeous. It's a peaceful, peaceful walk. But now, let's get to Forge Garage. Okay, we just arrived here at Forge Garage. It's gonna be about a 30 minute 
weight, not too bad. And it's right here at the Premium Outlets in Orlando. So I think this is probably just like a 10 minute drive from our hotel, so not too bad. Um, but we're gonna wait a little bit. Oh, they have like a little gazebo over there. We could probably walk around. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. They have like these classic cars and like this classic gas station right here. It looks pretty awesome. We're just gonna wait here and gonna go and eat some delicious food. We are starving. We got seated pretty quickly within like five minutes. Um, look at these sports garage little buckets here. But yeah, gonna look over the menu and see what we get. There's a lot of stuff here, so and definitely I think I'm gonna get a burger. But I'm just not sure which one. This one looks good. The Philly cheesesteak. That one looks really good. And I think for appetizer we're gonna get some wings. The details here are pretty cool. So the napkin is actually a mechanic rag. And the, the, what's holding it together is a hose clamp. It's pretty cool. The wings have arrived with some ranch and some salary. Oh, these look good. Oh, wow. They gave us, I thought it was going to come away like six. <laughs> wow. All right. We just tried the wings. Wow. Delicious. So good. And we're, we have some ranch to go with it. Honestly, probably one of our favorite wings that we've tried. Our burgers are here. Look at this beauty. It's the Model A. This looks delicious. Still working on our wings. What do you think, honey? It's so good. Yeah. It has like a lot of Just that first bite. Yeah. And to end the night, wifey ordered a mint chocolate milkshake here with a cherry on top. So we are stuffed. Forge Garage was delicious. The wings were really good. The burgers were really good. And also the theming. Not only like in the restaurant and even with the napkins with the it was a mechanic rag and then the clamp that hold the, the napkin was the hose clamp also in the bathrooms like the sinks were like tires and then like the doors were like um, gas nozzles it was really 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 cool i mean the, the food was delicious uh, but now we are just walking it off around here it's in the so this forge garage was in the premium outlet so we're just walking around although they're already closed we're just walking it off right now and i'm about to ask my wife how she felt about the food. What do you think about Ford's Garage, honey? I'm in an empty stomach <laughs> because the food is really good, but you'll get really full fast and you might not finish it all. Yeah, right now, the last thing we could think about is food. But it's a big, like, big, thick burger, but really good. And the wings were fire as well. The all right, wings were super juicy. Yeah. Really juicy. Our daughter loves wings, our oldest daughter. I mean, she will love these wings for sure. That's gonna be it for today's vlog, the last night here. Tomorrow, we have like, we gotta check out of the hotel at 11 and then figure out what to do until like five o'clock when we have to go to the airport. We'll figure that out tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. But that's gonna be it for this vlog, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.